think uh, something that makes a player very special is a, is a player that's willing to take on a challenge. Players that are willing to move uh, out of their comfort zone and move into different territories, different countries. Players willing to do pretty much anything to get to get to their goals. It's definitely something that stuck out about you as a player and that you never gave up, right? Absolutely nothing to do with uh, talent. This has only to do with personality and characteristics. That's fundamental to a footballer. Yeah, if you could just, you know, let the audience ha ha uh, know how you discovered me, you know, kind of your first impression on Instagram and then your first impression in person, you know, what was the difference and yeah. what, what did you, what did you see in me? Because, you know, obviously, you know, you saw me as a player right. uh, and obviously for, you know, the, the audience listening, you want to look, um, you know, professional on and off the pitch as a player. Yeah. So, yeah, if you could just go into it and, and let them know, uh, yeah. maybe they can take some influence. Sure. Yeah, no, I mean, of course, um, I think uh, something that makes a player very special is a, is a player that's willing to take on a challenge. I think that players that are willing to move uh, out of their comfort zone and move into different territories, different countries, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a character thing, right? Yep. It, 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 deter it shows you um, that this, this player is willing to do pretty much anything to get to, get to their goals. And, uh, you know, that's definitely something that stuck out about you as a player that you, you had many destinations and, and, and that you never gave up, right? So at the time, I believe you, you were in Israel, you were playing Israel professionally, but um, you had destinations in like uh, in Sweden, I believe, and in Germany previously, which obviously shows that like, you know, you weren't afraid to leave the American market uh, out of college. And, um, you know, I think that that's definitely something that is very, uh, desirable from a characteristic standpoint from a footballer. This has absolutely nothing to do with uh, talent. This has only to do with personality and characteristics. And I think that um, that's fundamental to a footballer. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. is, there, is there personality? Yeah. Um, and um, yeah, you know, obviously you, you being able to adapt internationally uh, was definitely the first point that was uh, attractive. And then of course, you you were building and, and growing in your development of your of your brand Rickfit and um, I saw that as a huge opportunity to to work together with someone who knows you know the 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 tech savvy the the online presence yeah. someone who knows how to manage not only just their time but also like be disciplined in their in their craft and just perfecting their craft daily and I guess. Specifically, if I had to narrow it down to what was really interesting is, of course, you as a person is, is, is your, your, your determination kind of, and you're, you're always persistent and uh, consistent, you know, those are things that are fundamental, not just for any footballer, but just for people in general, like this has nothing to do with sports. This just has to be, or this has to do with who you should strive to be as a person. And I think that you have many great qualities that young aspiring professionals, you know, current professionals, and obviously also people outside of football uh, have. And, and that's what really made you as attractive to myself, which obviously I made a known, really well known and very easily uh, see, like, to see to the eye uh, to Dennis and, yeah. and that's what made us decide to really work with you yeah was yeah. your was your character and yeah. and just your work ethic you know? mm -hmm. no dude you know uh, I don't want to make this podcast all about me but I appreciate it I think it's very helpful for the audience to see what an agent sees from the outside yeah you know and how they perceive a player so I appreciate you sharing that and just to add on to that before we move on to the next topic you know many of you guys and girls know know that you know I'm still a player in Latvia but I've taken over as in the director role and one thing that I've been talking a lot about to the coach lately is you know when we want to bring players in we want to have our own mold of players mm -hmm. and one of the most important things like you said is, is that mindset of constant self growth constant self improvement because like you said you know the most important characteristics I believe of a player obviously you need the talent to play at the level but to stay at the level and continue improving you need to have that hunger to grow and learn and, and I think uh, like you said not just for a football or for any person yeah. it makes you attractive to any person um, so whether you're looking for a friend or whether you're looking for, for a partner uh, whether you're looking for a footballer that stuff is, is, is very important so um, yeah just just for the people listening you know 
the coach pointed out something very interesting to me that I want to share with you is, you know, when he was working in Germany at uh, his club in, in the fourth tier, the Regionalliga, they're looking to go up to the third league. So Greisfeld, they actually have a lot of ambitions. He said that the sports director always wants to talk to at least three or four other people that have dealt with the player and not just uh, the other coaches, you know, kit men, teammates, to mm. see how the player treats mm. other people on and off the field. And I think, you know, the, the attitude and, and the character is so big in football, yeah. you know? Yeah, so absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, no, I think you made some good points. Like, you know, I think uh, you need to treat the president of the club the exact same way as you would have to treat the kit man or, you know, yeah. treat the trainer or treat the, not just your, your veteran teammates, but your, yeah. your rookie teammates. Yeah. And, um, that's, those are all tangible things. Yeah. Those are all uh, things that you can attain and, and work on and, 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 and you have control over those things. Yeah. So um, in football, uh, theoretically speaking and, and practically speaking, um, you, to, you need to really work on yourself as a person. Yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, that will take you a really long way. That'll exactly. take you very far. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, just like we were talking with before the podcast with... Uh, you know, my young one-on-one -on -one client that we have, you know, in, in Latvia, brought him here to Switzerland for, for three months. Yeah. You know, football, is, it's a, it's a self-improvement journey in itself, you know, and that, that's what makes it so special, yeah. you know, uh, through the discipline that, you know, you've instilled throughout your professional career, taking it into your agency career. You know, you learn that all through, through football.